In this video, we'll create our users. Before you can do this step, you first need to be approved for G Suite for Education. When you first signed up, your request for G Suite for Education was automatically sent to our approvals team, and you should have received an email from eSupport at google.com with further instructions. Once you complete the approvals process, you'll be able to add users to your domain and assign them to organizational units. There are a number of ways to add users, but today we're going to add multiple users in bulk using a CSV file. From the Admin Console homepage, go to Users. You'll see at the top of the page a link for bulk upload users. Click that. And in this box, you'll be able first to download a blank CSV template. You'll want to make sure to download this as this template will have the correct format that you need to be able to upload the CSV. I've already downloaded the template and opened it up here. You'll see that the file has columns for the attributes that can appear in each user's profile. Profiles appear in the Admin Console and in Users Contacts Manager. For each user that you want to add, enter information in these columns in the spreadsheet. First name, last name, email address, and you want to follow the format username at yourdomain.com. Password. By default, passwords must be at least eight characters long, but you can change that setting in the Admin Console. Finally, you'll want to enter the organizational unit path. For this, you can use forward slash to represent the root top level OU, or forward slash name to represent a sub OU. In this case, I've got forward slash staff for my staff sub OU and just forward slash for my root OU. Now this is optional, but you can fill out the other columns if you'd like. Otherwise, you can just leave them blank. For additional information on formatting, for example, if you want to use multiple email addresses, please see our Help Center article that is linked from our Quick Start IT Setup Guide. Now, once you've filled out the spreadsheet, you'll want to save it back as a CSV file. Now, please note that the maximum file size for one CSV upload is 35 megabytes, and the maximum number of records per file is 150,000. If you're using CSVs to upload more users than that, you can split them across multiple CSVs. Once you've downloaded your file, back in the Admin Console, you can click the Attach CSV button to add your file. When you're ready, Click Upload. Your task list should open automatically, and it shows the progress of the upload. Once processing is complete, you'll receive an email report. If there is an error with the upload, you'll be able to download a log file with details, and you can go back to your CSV and fix any issues, or enter any missing information. For more information on common errors with CSV uploads, please see our Help Center article on adding users with CSVs, or you can always contact support. Now, once you're done uploading users, it might take up to 24 hours for your new users to have access to G Suite services and appear in the global directory. And in our next video, 
we'll go over how to enable services for these users so they can get started using G Suite right away.